and you ask for my introduction then my name is alpha and i come from the city lucknow it's in up and if you talk about my academics then i am a post graduate in english also i have two grown up sons yeah and uh, if you talk about my hobbies <clears throat> i love reading listening to music and playing chess yeah that's about me i'm glad to hear that uh, you are li- in lucknow because i am also from lucknow so it's okay. great you are also from lucknow how nice to meet you okay so yes. from lucknow which place are you i am living here uh, like uh, scooter india side uh, okay i am got it yeah close to amosi airport yes yes, so, yes. if i talk about uh, amosi airport so it is only 8 kilometers far from my okay. village okay i am so happy that uh, you are from lucknow okay yes it's okay. really very really good that you know, and you know i stay close to there's a hotel no pickadly hotel yes yes very no, very well of course i know yeah behind it is my house yes oh that's a really great oh that's a really great i haven't thought that i'm talking to any because early i like i have been uh, having conversation here for long time but i haven't seen any lucknow person uh, i haven't talked to anyone yet today i am talking to the person who also lives in lucknow ah, so that that's my pleasure that's my pleasure yeah so gyan <clears throat> gyan chand let me have your introduction first yes of course so yeah my name is gyanand from up in lucknow as i told you and uh, of course if i talk about my profession so since i live i am living in village area so i have to do some farm related work also i have some buffaloes i just graze them and uh, i'm not uh, too much educated uh, so i'm not going to tell you anything about my education but yes it was my dream to learn english so i worked hard on it and i learned this language on social media and now Uh, just because of th- this so, uh, this social media i have completed my dream and now i am getting chance to talk to so many people and apart from this language i don't have any skill i can't say but that is all about me and you know i really i salute you you are so commendable job you are doing that you uh, don't have education right you not been to tell you that you don't have any education as you just mentioned no i am not educated you are educated <laughs> you are educated and you speak so well and you speak very well yeah thank you thank you so much ma'am so may uh, so, may i know about you like uh, oh, what is your profession <laughs> like uh, and just tell me about yourself okay about me like you know even i was uh, when i got married i was only 12 pass yes i'm not talking about your uh, introduction i'm talking about your life experience yeah okay that only i'm telling you something about my life experience related to education how i did my education okay in so difficulties even i did my education and that was like i was uh, uh, after class 12 i got married okay <clears throat> when i got married i came to a new house then i thought yeah i am not educated It, like you are thinking about yourself you call that you are not educated even in that time i also thought yeah i am not educated because i was only 12th class pass so when i came to my in laws place i you know there was a lot of work to do you know and actually i live, lived in a joint family i lived in a joint family there were nine members in my house and i had a small son that time and he was only uh, like uh, <clears throat> 3 or 4 years that time and it was so hard for me to get educated okay and you know what i did as, as i was so you know aspire i was so e- eager to learn so i remaining at home doing lot of work you know and i studied i studied i went to the market collected books <clears throat> and i everything i did myself you know there was nobody to guide me or to teach me yes so yes, three, yes. so three years uh, graduation and two years masters i did all by myself i am doing a lot of work in the joint family so that was very hard for me to study yes okay. yes and i yeah, i would i would i would learn you know in the late nights 
in the late night only to give my exams only to give my exams i went to college so that's why i couldn't do like i was a science student so i couldn't continue after marriage because in science marriage i had to go for practicals so that was the reason i yeah i went for art subject and in this way i i did my post graduation and one more thing in my post graduation i i had a viva i was not that able to speak in english okay mm. and i was so scared how my viva will go and really it didn't go so well you know because i was good at writing i could write anything but when it yeah. came to speak when it came to speak i was not that good yeah so, yeah it, of course so i can it been it's been very long yeah so now i getting now i got a chance to connect with everybody and uh, develop the skills what i lost many years back correct correct yeah i'm connecting every day with the people and learning to develop my fluency yeah that's about me i can of course uh, listening your hard work through this language you know i can understand that earlier we didn't have any facility to learn this language earlier we didn't uh, have some like good teacher good trainer and even institute we didn't have any facilities it was hard not to crack to learn this language you know so yeah, yeah. i can understand even uh, when i started so yeah it was very very hard not to crack but uh, i didn't give up though i give uh, i give up so many times thinking that oh again and why do you, why are you learning english there is no important learning english because you are living in village area and no you don't have any person to talk and not uh, not do, do do you have any partner to teach you guide you so i thinking this type type of thought in my mind i give up so many times but i don't know why this uh, my dream forced me again and again to learn this language and whatever i had that time like i had a grammar book and i i said okay let let's start with this grammar book but i worked too much but i didn't improve i couldn't improve i just learned and forgot learn and forgot what's going on with me and of course when i one year two years ago when i bought this mobile i started learning english again on social media and then i improved a lot and after solving my doubts i created youtube channel and through youtube channel i started getting people and i started connecting with them then i removed my hesitation shyness and then i improved a lot like uh, learning is different thing and if you are speaking you are having conversation with stranger people so of course you are going to improve a lot it means you are creating environment for yourself so this english is not a big deal everyone can speak you know but yes yeah, everybody can speak yeah. we have to create, we have to create environment for this we have to listen we have to speak we have to learn just like that right so uh, you this, you have done a very commendable job right and really uh, you have done yeah earlier it was difficult but nowadays anyone can learn this language easily because just because of social media you know hmm yes so everything you learn from the social media from youtube of course here in village area you can't find any good teacher who can teach and uh, of course i didn't uh, go for any institute i didn't find any uh, any teacher for me i learned all english on social media really you yeah. have done a great job young yeah, you are great it's not uh, commentable because of course uh, it's uh, easy every for everyone everyone think that everyone person think that every person think that oh it's really very really hard to crack to learn english but in my opinion if you have social media so you can learn anything not only yeah. this language but also anything which you want to learn right social media yeah we can you know like though you have learned everything from social media to everybody i say uh, there's no excuse that i'm not not learned okay many people say that i don't have environment and there's nobody to speak to me even i said the same thing that even in my days i didn't have anybody to speak to me but as you yeah. say that you don't, you also don't have anybody to speak to you but in mm. spite of all this you have learned so yes you speak so well and i'm really yeah. surprised to see you 
just because of social media earlier it was very very difficult really? uh, i couldn't uh, i suppose i i hadn't had this social media i would not be speaking in front of you and just because of social media i'm speaking i'm speaking here in front of you yeah. so uh, you know social media made me fluent like this otherwise it was mm -hmm. really hard not to crack for me so yeah. because on yeah. social media you can find teacher trainer and you can solve your doubt whatever you have so it's really yeah. very good and earlier we had only grammar book not more than that so and that is from yeah social media i think everybody can learn whatever the person wants to learn like there mm -hmm. you know for the girls and women there are so many recipes on youtube to make yeah. whatever you wish to okay mm -hmm. and to learn any language and to you know to develop anything the skills what they miss you know so every whatever there is a you know vast circle vast world whatever we can learn we can learn from the social media Okay. Because I, yeah. uh, earlier when I when I uh, mug up so many tenses, but I was not able to add them in my conversation because I was not speaking that time. I didn't have any person to speak. But now yeah. you can find people. You have people to talk. You just send request to YouTubers and so many. You have so many people are learning English, so you can connect with them and you can talk for hour and hour and hour. So you have yeah. all the time uh, students, beginner. So you can talk to them. Everyone knows that this language only can be spoken by speaking. So everyone can learn. So nowadays it's really very really easy. So like you have, you have teacher, you have trainer, you have people to talk. So that is why. Yeah. So and you well, and you yeah, and you well said that speaking comes from speaking. That hmm. the, how much we will give up speaking every day? How much we will go and go and speaking? And in that way, we will be good at speaking to somebody, to anybody. I mean to say, Correct. so as much as the person speaks, he will be able to speak much better every day, mm. right? And I, we, and Gyan Chand, uh, what else you do? Like uh, besides having conversations, what else you do? Yes, I told you that uh, I have some work at my firm, and I just work over there. And I also I have I have some fellows. I just grace them. What do you have? Fellows. I have three fellows. I have one okay. fellow. Okay. Fellows. Okay. Mm. So you have to work on that also. Like you have to feed them and take out the milk and everything. You do yourself? No, no, no. I don't sell milk. I have uh, I have for myself. You know, I have one buffalo, two baby buffalo. So it's traditional of in village area. Every person uh, must mm. have fellow. So I just graze them uh, because I have to do this since my childhood. I have been grazing buffalo, so it is my work. So, so you have so, your, you have your personal personal buffalo. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. yes. So so good. You have pure milk at your house, right? Yes. Sometimes because nowadays I don't have milk. So oh. of course, but in village area you can find milk. There is pure milk. There is no problem. Yeah. So what is the name of your village? Mm, Aurava, you bant have you heard Bantra? Bantra? Bantra oh, yes. Yeah. We go to Kanpur. No, so my house is at Kanpur actually. Our oh. ancestral house is in Kanpur. So whenever we go from Lucknow to Kanpur, on the way is Bantra. And Bantra yeah. is so close to yeah, Lucknow Airport. Behind so the Bantra. Can... Behind oh. the Bantra, my village. You can find my village. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, it's really good that uh, we are living in Lucknow. It's a famous city, you know, like yeah. it. From Pantra, are you sometimes you come to the city? Uh, rarely. Uh, of course, how can I say it? Uh, one uh, some like rarely I go uh, once uh, once in a blue moon, like one time in a month, two months, three months, six months like that. Sometimes yeah. rarely and I go. Okay, and may I ask you, when did you create your your channel? It has been one year. Uh, one year ago, I created. Okay, so one year before you had created. So why don't you upload videos on your channel? Of course, I do upload. Uh, upload. I don't okay. upload every day. Uh, okay. Two or three video in a week. I upload. Okay, and daily you have conversation. Daily you have. No, no, no. Uh, uh, like sometimes, 
two or three times in a week. When I need any video, then I talk. Okay. Okay. For and how many members are how many members are you? Uh, there are eleven members. I'm living in joint family, so yeah, there are eleven members. So how do you find joint family? Joint family is good, no? In spite of living in a nuclear family. For me, okay. I find like joint families are very good to live in. There are everybody to help you at whatever time you need to, and you get so many advices from your elders. So I, yeah. I for me, if somebody asks me, then I go for yeah, joint family is too good to live in. Mm. And I'm very, and very, yeah, and I'm very glad that in this kind of scenario where everybody wants to live in a nuclear family, you all are living in a joint family, and I appreciate it. Yes, yes. you are surrounded with your family members, and it's a good. They are having conversations, and you are listening. So there is no problem. Look, like if you have any, if you have any problem, they just come to you, and they just solve your doubt and solve your yeah. uh, problem. So that is great. So yeah, uh, it's really good living in joint family. So tell me about yourself. Are you uh, living in nuclear family or joint family? Yeah, of course. Yeah, my my sons they are posted outside. So my elder one is in Mumbai. I'm he's in Mumbai, and the younger one is in Noida. So only we both husband wife are there in Lucknow. So sometimes I miss too much because once like you, even I was living in a joint family, and there were nine to ten person in my house. In Kanpur, in Kanpur, but now yeah. my son got married. Yeah, they had a job, so they had to leave Kanpur. So they went for their jobs. And my in-law they passed away. My brother-in-law passed away. So like the family, yeah. So only few persons are left in the family. Sometimes I miss that uh, those years when I was living in a joint family. I, I, and I though there was a hard work. You know, there was so much of work. And still, still, I loved you know. That atmosphere, living in with everybody, and there were so many. Like my in-laws were there to look after us. For for them, we were their children. We were their children, you know. For my in-laws. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. So I miss so much, you know. But what to do? Everybody has to go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just for their job, and of course, uh, uh, living in joint family, uh, of course, is it is good. But uh, uh, of course, we have to make our separate family because. If you are living in in joint family, so you are uh, totally you are depends on your in uh, parents and like uh, some mm. other family members. So in okay. village area, it happens. Everyone uh, has to be uh, with your joint family. But in city area, I think uh, they don't want to live in sep uh, like in joint family. They want to live separate family. Mm. But yeah, yeah, they enjoy so much when they come on the festival. Like my son, know when they come on the festival. So I'm so happy that because my whole whole family is united that time, and of course mm. my grandchildren are my grandchildren are also there with me. So mm. I love to be with my family. So it happens only on the festival. They did do come in in between, and even we go to their houses. But yeah, but not yet. The both the sons, you know, they don't have holidays like on the same time. They don't get uh, holiday on the same time. So yeah, on the occasion. Just collect each other and just gather. Uh, you can see a uh, whole your family, so that you can talk. Yeah, it's a great, of course. So that's really great. So bye. Have a good okay. time. Bye. Okay. Thank you.